Mr. Sen has been exposed for liking Lolly and using Lolly in sexually charged conversations. Back in 2019, Mr. Sen was nearly 19 years old. Mr. Sen had sexually charged conversations with a Discord account that went by the name of Kitty. Kitty ended up being Jared, a guy in his mid-30s. According to a video from Steve DeLeave, this Jared guy went by many different personas and often did this. Well, then you've never met Jared. Jared goes by many online identities from different ages to different ethnicities. It seems like Jared is everyone but himself. Jared, aka Kitty, in these DMs ended up sending a lot of images of Lolly to Sen, where Sen had a lot of sexual responses back to these images. Even one of these screenshots showing that Sen did send a photo of Lolly back to the Kitty account, aka Jared. This stuff happened back in 2019, and according to a DM that Sen sent me, it was a one time occurrence. He hadn't heard of the term anime CP at that point. And later, when me and Sen had a call, he explained that it was just a one-time occurrence there is nothing else on him besides these dms it never ended up happening again and there's gonna be no other dms out there of him doing it again and that he explained it was a dumb decision he didn't really know any better at the time even though he was an adult crow recently called out sen for not only this but lying about the situation because sen was going on for a long time lying saying that that account wasn't his it was somebody else who owned that account who had the dms with the kitty person aka jared but crow and the rest of his crew were also calling out Sen for the hypocrisy because Sen is a commentary channel who calls out people for very similar situations that he himself was involved in. And this leads me to the video I'm making here today. You guys pretty much just got the TLDR in the intro of this video. You guys know what Sen did. Sen lied about this for a long time. He's gone on many channels and live streams to continue to lie about this, affecting people around him. It even affects me a little bit because people are calling me out for being best buds or friends with Sen, which I never was friends at all with Sen. I never considered myself friends with Sen at any given point. Were we loosely associated? Yes, because we hopped on each other's streams to talk about the same topic every once in a while. But I was not anywhere nearly associated with Sen as the original people part of Crow and his crew. I'm not nearly as associated with Sen as other individuals online are. I just purely know him because he's a commentary channel and we talk about the same topics. Going forward, I will not be associating with Sen at all because I believe the actions he did back in 20 2019 are disgusting, immoral, and not something I want to align myself with at all. I consistently call out people for being PDF files, and in my eyes, anyone who's attracted to Lolly, which it seemed like he was in those DMs, I consider them PDF files as well. My quick explanation for this, because I know some people are going to have a problem comparing Lollycon people to PDF files, my quick explanation to this is that if you're attracted to kids, regardless if it's an art form, anime, drawings, cartoons, whatever, you're still attracted to kids. You're still attracted to the idea of a kid doing something very inappropriate that you shouldn't be thinking of them doing. And the literal definition of being a pedophile is being attracted to kids. I mean, this isn't that hard to understand. So yes, in my opinion, Lollycon, if you're into Lolly, whatever, you're attracted to kids in a cartoon form. You're attracted to kids in a drawing form. You are a PDF file. That is my opinion. So yes, by default, I think Sen is a PDF file file. If you have a different opinion, fine. Agree to disagree. But I am going to be moving on to the next thing. Sen and I did have conversations afterwards, but I was very clear to Sen about going forward I will be cutting ties with him. I expressed this and I was honest to Sen, and Sen seemed to be honest back. Yes, we did have one last call per his request where we did talk about a lot of this stuff, but at the same time, I was also asking Sen for any sort of information about Crow and all of them knowing about it sooner, because this video is not just about Sen. It is also so about Crow, Aura, Toy Bounty Hunters, Steve DeLeave, Aura's wife, Kayla, all of them. It's about them as well because these guys, these scumbags have known about it for so long but decided to now do it because Sen was beefing with Toy Online and Crow got involved and then Crow threatened to come out of retirement just because of a little skirmish on Twitter. That's what set Crow over the edge. Crow's job on the internet was calling out people for doing terrible things. You have this guy named Mr. Sen or just Sen and three plus years ago you make a live stream talking about those DMs but you're laughing and you're joking. No, not <laughs> at all. And at the end, this is gonna be me and you fuck. Like, it's just like, oh, do you die in like X months? And then this is gonna be you. <laughs> it's like, what? Shut up, bitch. Then you invite him on, and then you guys are reading the DMs, having Sen take over his DMs, and then having, like, Aura read the kitty DMs. That animal guy is creepy. 
he did a review of a children's movie completely naked. Kiwi doxed him, lol. You keep changing your name. You must really be into this role play shit. And my voice. And my voice. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been like, why are you buying TV stands when you need to pay off your phone? I was gonna say, shut up, bitch! And then you're still laughing, and you're still making jokes about it. And then Crow claims in that original stream he doesn't believe Sen is a PDF file at all. And yeah, I'm roasting Sen. I'm laughing about it. Probably yeah, I laugh with him too about it. I laugh with him. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not trying to put out this video in which I say sends a pedo. And Crow saying that three plus years ago is consistent to this day because Crow isn't even certain on what his own beliefs are. If you are into those images, if you do uh, uh, trade in that craft or whatever that you want to call it, um, then it is the gateway to being a pedophile, right? Th those are those are Sen's words. Those are not my words. I don't think I would go that far uh, unless you are saying creepy shit about kids like fucking Vouch does uh, or trying to justify being attracted to it. Well, you know, maybe, maybe I will agree with Sen, but we will have to see about that. Why is he talking about this if he hasn't came to a consensus on whether or not people who like Lolly are PDF files or not? I would love a straight answer out of Crow if he thinks that or not. But what it actually is, is him just dodging so he doesn't have to make the comparison because apparently it's such a bad thing to say that people who like Lolly or people who are Lollycons are PDF files. I don't know why there's any hesitation with just saying that people who enjoy Lolly are also PDF files. Regardless, let's move on to Aura and his wife wife Kayla. They sit here and they have actively sat here and defended this guy named Connor aka McDaddy who has also been catfished to thinking he was talking to a 15 year old where McDaddy sat here and says I don't care about age it's just a number. Instant red flag there that this guy is probably a creep and a pdf file. On top of this later on when he thought this person was 15 he expressed that his fantasy is a rape fantasy. Even more of a red flag right there to be talking to a 15 year old who you think is a 15 year old and be saying stuff like like this. Here's a couple tweets of Aura and both Kayla defending McDaddy, or at least downplaying anybody calling him out. Here is Sen asking Aura if it was just him off his meds on why he was acting so creepy like this and having DMs like this and having this type of behavior. And Aura just acts like he's not so sure about it, but it could be maybe. Right here is Steve DeLeave and Sen also having a DM conversation right here, saying, so if you guys want to be friends with the dude who laughs about deceiving you while literally getting caught for doing the same crap that EDP did. You guys do, lol. I'm not gonna fight with my girlfriend at the time over that. Sen asks you guys, who's you guys? Steve says, go look yourself. I'm so sick of talking about Connor to people. Connor, aka McDaddy. If you don't want to look at the evidence, I don't know what to tell you. I know how to cross-reference and see where there's context missing. Connor's own account to me is sus AF. Aura, Kayla, Crow, Sushi. I don't know if you're for that too. I'm not friends with Connor. I guess his name is McDaddy is what Sen ended up saying. Barely know or have interacted with him. Steve DeLeave ends up replying saying, yeah, McDaddy, um, there's others, but it's been a while. YouTube made great again. Some others. Again, Steve sitting here pretty much saying that yes, the rest of the crew, Aura, Crow, all of them are okay with McDaddy, okay with Connor. They're friends with the guy. There's actual proof right here of Kayla and Aura defending the guy, going to back for the guy. And these are the people who called out Sen, the same people who worked with the guy, collaborated with the guy, had them part of the group. On the OG stream, there's somebody down in the comments calling out, wait, you're working with the guy? You're making videos with the guy? You're streaming with the guy? Dude, these guys think that they're doing the good thing by calling them out, but dude, you lied about it for years. You defended the guy. You protected the guy. Then this McDaddy guy shows up and Aura and Kayla are going to bat for that guy. And according to Steve, the entire group was friends with Connor and McDaddy. Oh, and it gets even worse. It ain't just Steve sitting here and stepping away from McDaddy. Steve also wanted to protect his friend Maya. Here's a couple bad messages that Maya ended up sending. Some pretty weird and uh, gross things here. And right here, here is Steve saying, shaking my head, Maya was just trolling. Really, Steve? Messages like this and you're gonna say she was just trolling. Even if she was just trolling, people who troll like this are still disgusting people. If you think it's okay for people to sit here and portray themselves, like this just because they want to troll. Steve, 
you have a lot of work to do in that whole department. I hope you come around to learning that, hey, people just shouldn't troll about that sort of thing. It's kind of disgusting. It's not funny at all. It's not humorous to hear people say stuff like this at all. So again, it seems like these people just really don't care about anything that anyone associated with them or any friends, anyone that they like. They'll turn a blind eye to that. They'll sit here and ignore it or they'll actively go out and defend it and protect it. But now all of a sudden they've had a change of heart. Now all of a sudden they have to call out Sen. Now all of a sudden they have to go against Sen because Sen went after Toy and had a little skirmish on Twitter and Crow had to say, hey, don't make me come out of retirement to come after you. So this is what this is all about, really. You know, this is just about getting even with another guy. You're not doing this to warn people or to protect people that are close to Sen that Sen has been actively lying to. You're not doing it for anything like that. You're doing it because you have hatred for the guy and it only built up more when he was going after you. I'm not protecting or defending Sen here. What he did is goddamn awful. If I would have known about this a long time ago, it would have been out right away. I wouldn't have sat here and hesitated to talk about any of this. And I would have directly confronted him right away. What Crow, you, and everyone else did is you guys laughed and joked about all this and made a nice friendly environment for him to come join. Where there was absolutely zero pressure on him at all to have to sit here and be honest or to explain or anything. Yes, I get it. He's a grown adult and he's responsible for his own actions. I agree with that 100%. But since you guys were so friendly and jokey and laughy with him anyways, no wonder he lied about it years later. No wonder he's been going around saying that it's not him because he feels like he can get away with it. He tricked all you idiots. He made all you scumbags look stupid. More stupid than you guys already actually look like. Crow, last time I made a video on you, I brought up your wife saying that she wouldn't appreciate you acting like a fool on the internet. I'm gonna bring her up again. I doubt she would like you sitting here going to bat and being friends with creepy people like this, yet you did it for many years. You have also openly lied about this. I'm sure your wife doesn't appreciate you being a liar. Let's pull up you being a liar right here. Crow lies saying he never saw Sen send Lolly at all. Uh, 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 like a video chat and and then, then, then do that stuff, right? But I never saw that Sen was actually saving the Lollicon and sending it back to Jared. That's, that's the part where I was like, that's where you get me. That, that's where you fucking get me. Really? You never saw him sit here and send any pictures of Lolly? Here's the original stream from three plus years ago, where you're actively seeing him do it. There you go. That was the line we left off. Oh, well, and this is the fun thing, though, too, because it's like, um, because Sen posted that same Lolly pic or whatever. So it was like, he had to save that to his phone. <sighs> he did. He did. It's on his phone. It's on his phone. I never saw that Sen was actually saving the Lollicon and sending it back to Jared. And this is the same stream you claim that he's not a PDF file, that you're joking and having a good time with. This is the same stream that ended up leading to you guys collaborating and you bringing him to be part of the group. And yeah, I'm roasting Sen. I'm laughing about it. Right? Yeah, I laugh with him too about it. I laugh with him. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not trying to put out this video. In which I say, sends a pedo. Here's Crow not being certain on whether or not Lolly means, you know, PDF file or not. He's like kind of conflicted on that whole matter. If you are into those images, if you do uh, uh, trade in that craft or whatever the you want to call it, um, then it is the gateway to being a pedophile, right? Th those are those are Sen's words. Those are not my words. I don't think I would go that far uh, unless you are saying creepy shit about kids like fucking Vouch does uh, or trying to justify being attracted to it well you know maybe, maybe i will agree with sen but we will have to see about that so you're not consistent at all right there either here's crow calling me out saying that i apparently will condone sen's behavior if i ever invite him back to the stream oh uh tj hey let me let me just say real quick to you i i'm so sorry that you were offended by what i said about you on twitter uh because again you looked into this whole thing and you never saw any evidence that he met me through you just real quick at this point right you the, the logs the all, all those chats the images that are part of it are displayed earlier in the stream we've linked the discord account with Sen. Sen is denying it uh. right but the evidence is there um so at a certain point if i see Sen still going on to your streams right you can't sit there and say that you don't like the, get mad at me if i say that you condone that fucking uh type of behavior anymore which by the way is, i'm never associating with him again because i think what he did is disgusting at least i'm consistent with that crow is not because he actively sat here and went back to hanging out with sen right after making that jokey stream about calling him out after seeing those dms and i'm 
not even bringing up McDaddy, aka Connor, someone that was close with the group according to Steve to leave, and someone that Aura and Kayla actively went out and defended. And also, I'm not bringing up Maya, one of Steve's friends. If I see Sen still going on to your streams, right, you can't sit there and say that you don't, like, get mad at me if I say that you condone that fucking uh, type of behavior anymore. But yet, you want to sit here and call me out, saying that, oh, if I ever see him on a stream of yours again, don't get mad if I say you condone it. You're claiming I condoned it? Dude, you pretty much supported the guy to keep doing it. You try to call out people like that, I guess, on the internet and be a commentary channel or whatever, but you're doing stuff like this. You're actively lying. You sat here and shielded Sen for years. No wonder he lied about it. He learned his shit from you. He learned from the master. You claim right here that you hate misinformation. Hey, hey I hate misinformation. I, I just absolutely hate misinformation. It's, it's the worst Wait. thing. It's, 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 a, it's a threat to our democracy, in fact, right? Right, John? Don't yeah. you want to protect democracy by, by sure. stopping misinformation? So this is what this stream is about. Defending democracy. <laughs> and that it threatens our democracy. Dude, you're the king of misinformation here. You're coming out years later condemning Sen for all of this shit? Where was this at years ago? Where was it at in the original stream? Hmm. Crow, you defended it. Well, you said that I was calling you a pedophile, you fucking idiot. I, I I thought I was calling you a pedophile, but I was defending you? You need to stay in a fucking lane, dipshit. God damn. In this clip, you just saw Crow tell Sen to stay in his lane. Dude, Crow, you did defend Sen by being associated and being friends with him for so many years collaborating with him. After knowing about the D... DMs. The DMs that you covered. The DMs that you lied about and said that I never saw Sen send Lolly, but you did. Here's the proof. But I never saw that Sen was actually saving the Lollycon and sending it back to Jared. That's that's the part where I was like, that's where you get me. That that's where you fucking get me. There you go. That was the line we left oh, off. On. Well, and this is the fun thing though, too, because it's like um because Sen posted that same lolly pic or whatever. So it's like he had to save that to his phone. He did. He did. It's on his phone. It's on his phone. Here's Steve claiming that he's not a doxer, by the way, when clearly he is. <laughs> it's kind of interesting when you're just spitting shit out of your ass and it's not lining up with facts. You know? Oh, shut the fuck up, you dox, bitch. <laughs> Who did I, I dox? Just... Who did I dox? Because I told dox you where I was ax, living. When I, I told you where I was living at the time, and that's a dox to, to my girlfriend after the fact. Right? No, you said she not lived like here, the and then Aura location. told me this is her fucking location. Steve's being Aura cheeky told you about that. it. Aura yeah. told you that. So Aura is doxing he, here now. No, yeah. he gave it to me. I mean, technically, we're all doxers here, except for John. <laughs> we're all doxers. <laughs> so yeah. what's the point of I even criticizing if we're all the same? Posted someone's fucking ad. But like, I don't think that was your question. moral righteousness, my dude. There's no moral righteousness. No, you're calling me something that I'm not. And it's just like, can you show me? Oh, yeah. You want to see the proof? Here's the proof. You threaten to dox someone. And then here, I have a blurred part of this image because I don't actually know if this is a real dox or not. It might not be. But it definitely says the name of a certain area and yes this is a dox dude but apparently they're all doxers or whatever so it doesn't matter i'm not trying to knock steve too hard for this but this just proves that all of them are liars every single one of them are liars i guess aura recently came out with a new thread well good job aura years later good job you're all pieces of crap yeah you guys were friends with sh ass people you went to bat for him and now you look just as bad as the rest of them you guys don't look good for calling out sen recently yes sen is a piece of crap no i'm not defending him i'm not sitting here trying to fight his fight with you i'm saying all of you guys are scumbags all of you guys are fucking gross all you guys are disgusting crow do me a favor keep fucking writing articles and blogs and doing whatever you're doing get the hell off youtube nobody gives a crap about your goddamn content they really don't isn't this your second channel anyways that you needed a channel to be monetized so you had to run to a second channel anyways i don't know i heard that maybe you got a shout out or something like that and that's the only reason why you have a channel with any remotely amount of subscribers right now but i don't know i could be wrong good job you got about a thousand views on your live stream which was just so dumb because you were calling him a hypocrite but you're a hypocrite for not calling him out anytime like sooner because you were calling out people like me saying you condone his actions for associating with him when you literally did associate with him for years you condoned his actions Actions. You guys claim he admitted to it a long time ago. Okay, well, if you guys knew about it a long time ago and he admitted to it a long time ago, where was the f 
fucking call out or was telling the world that this guy is bad and people shouldn't be associating with him. You just now want to be the higher authority and tell people not to associate with him now just because he went after your little boy toy toy? Boy toy toy. <laughs> toy bounty hunters is who I meant there. Oh, and I'm gonna leave you off with this. Uh, toy and Sen had a little bit of a skirmish. Toy is not really associated nearly as much as like Steve, Aura, Kayla, and Crow. Toy's a little bit better than the rest of them, I guess. But Toy does seem like a little bit of a man-child along with Sen. So Toy Bounty Hunters, please reach out to me. I know you saw my message in the live chat. I asked you to reach out to me. Please DM me. Please DM me still. I know you're trying to avoid me and you've been avoiding me for however long it's been, but please reach out to me, Toy. Look at this little interaction between Toy and Sen during the most recent stream. Hey, Sen. Hey, 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 get, get, last, uh, get the documents, thing, fire up the stream, thing. see how it goes for Fuck you, you Sen. I don't Fuck regret you. exposing you. Fuck you, pussy. <laughs> eat shit. Loser. You're a fucking loser, faggot. Yep. Go Keep take care of your foot. kid, bitch. Go ahead. Keep talking shit. Fuck out of here. I will. Fucking loser. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> What's happening? So yeah, to recap real quick, I'm not okay with Sen. Not associating with Sen. Think what Sen did was absolutely disgusting. I think I relayed that in this video pretty well. At the same time, I don't like Crow or many of the people he associates with. I think the many of the people he did associate with were fine with protecting, lying, defending, and being friends with creepy people that you can consider lollicons or PDF files. I believe these guys are just as disgusting as the people they like to call out or some of the people they like to be friends with. And yeah, that's the TLDR of this video at the very end just in case you know people forgot anything i talked about during this video all right see you guys later bye